All right, looking forward to that. And we have some showers around on the radar. Most of these in the high country, you can see some showers out towards Globe, Casa Grande, and just to the east of Gila Bend. One or two of these could make the trip into Metro Phoenix, but for the most part, I do think we avoid those. We are getting some cloud cover, so that is a nice caveat to this morning. Many spots in the valley not burning underneath all that hot sunshine. We can take you in a little bit closer here to Pine Top Lakeside. The reason I'm doing this is us weather nerds, we love something called ground truth. Yeah, we could show you the radar maps and talk about technology and computers, but sometimes people say, what does it actually look like here? We can take you there right now to that camera and I'm not seeing any rain, but I am seeing some dark clouds that have the look of rain to them. And it's here in Pine Top Lakeside and across much of Arizona's high country where we're going to see the chance of those showers and storms continuing with a few gusty downpours, even flash flooding, a slight risk out there in the high country today. Something to keep in mind. 89 is our temperature right now in Scottsdale. We have some of these clouds around, so it's going to be a warm, humid start if you're thinking about heading on the golf course. 97 by 10 o'clock in the morning, 102 by noontime and 104 by 2 p.m. So obviously drink plenty of water. You definitely want to mix that into whatever else you're drinking out here on the course and hopefully you play well if that's in your plans for today. 75 right now in Sedona, Prescott you're at 71, 91 in Phoenix, 86 right now in Casa Grande, Globe sitting at 74. That monsoonal flow of moisture continues. You can just see it here. Look at deep from parts of Mexico all the way up into New Mexico, Arizona, and that uh, moist feel in the atmosphere will continue for the next several mornings with those dew points in the 50s and 60s. And when you have conditions like that, of course, that can trigger some of these storms. This is around 4 or 5 p.m. Notice best chance of the showers and storms along the rim down near Tucson. Flagstaff has a pretty good chance of some showers and storms with a slight risk of some hail, gusty winds, blowing dust, and even a few downpours, which could produce some uh, flash flooding. So remember, turn around, don't drown. Be careful near any washes out there today that quickly becomes submerged in water. And then as we head throughout the evening, slight chance of those showers and storms continuing pretty much for the high country. Just about a 5 or 10% chance that one or two of those make it into the Phoenix metro area later today, but I think for the most part, we avoid that. High temperature 107, a smidge above normal. It'd be nice to get a below normal temperature every once in a while, right? I don't think that's happened in a long, long time. Our breezes will do their typical thing, probably dying down midday and then picking back up towards the afternoon and evening to 10 to 15 miles an hour. High temperature in Phoenix, Again, 107, just a smidge above normal, 92 Sedona, 81 in Flagstaff, Grand Canyon, 84, Bullhead City, 112, Lake Havasu City, 111. Around Arizona, boy, this is the kind of thing we typically see when that monsoon is here, where you have those showers and storms just kind of all over the place at our higher elevations. Flagstaff, showers and storms the next several days, highs in the low 80s today, upper 70s tomorrow. Grand Canyon looking at some showers and storms in the forecast with mid 80s for the next several days. Seven day outlook shows that slight chance of a shower storm in the valley today, but again, most of that staying in the high country. Monday and Tuesday, that threat drops 109 to 110, generally our high temperature range, and that continues through mid to the end of the week. But of course, stay tuned. As we know, the uh, forecast could change, but as of now, we don't have any excessive heat warnings or heat watches.